I'm back in Takara nursing my mosquito bites from yesterday's adventure and I've been invited to this amazing art school and it's the art school of Enrique Henzenji. Come and check out some of this amazing artwork. This is made from paper and mache paper, um, music and water mixed together. It's absolutely stunning. And here's some religious art. And inside, and inside, you can see some of the artists hard at work. I don't want to disturb them just yet because they're working very, very hard. Come on, join the tour. So I'm on the grounds of this amazing art school in Itakara, seeing exactly what it has to offer and come and check this out. This hut constructed by Enrique has got some amazing modern art inside and I think you'll be quite surprised. There's even the Queen. So making my way down the trail of the art school, I can see something amazing lurking in the trees, yet another piece of modern art. It's a mannequin which has been dressed in floral robes hugging the tree. I'm sure there'll be a lot more surprises on this journey today. So I'm continuing the trail of the art school grounds and here we've got some obviously symbolic art, barbed wire three and further up we've got the remains of a fish which has been constructed which also looks very amazing. Which way to turn now I'm not sure but I will continue in this direction. Along the way there's lots of undiscovered art pieces which just pop out at you. This is an absolutely stunning piece here. Amazing, so delicately painted. appearing up here. It seems to be like an apparition of an angel. Stunning. Painted onto a metal kind of frame. And what makes it even more lovely is that even the natural flowers behind it which just complement this piece. It's really, really lovely. I've just climbed up a massive hill and slipped twice. So this has been edited to cut out that. And if we just pop this way, we can see even more art. A baby in a tree. I mean, obviously all of this has very symbolic meaning to Henry. And here, a giant head, which I'm sure if we saw in the middle of the night would scare the living daylights out of most of us. And it's great seeing it's, again, how it's camouflaged with the trees, how the nature is blending with the art. It's very, very clever. And take a look at this intriguing piece buried in the forest. It's a scorpion. And I'll just go around so you can see a bit more. so intricate and so well done. Trees have feelings and check out this.
The art here is really is unreal. And this is another lovely piece of art. In fact, a very enjoyable one, right at the top of the forest. I feel like a little girl all over again. See what more we can find. So many insects and things buzzing around. I don't know which way to take. Oh wow! I can see something down here which looks fantastic. Stunning and so surreal. It gives a new meaning to Spider Woman. This enclave. You can see a chameleon. And at the very top of the forest is one of the last pieces of art. Jesus.